Michael asks, why are the tips so bad on DoorDash compared to Uber? Whenever it comes to tips, I need to ask you a few things. And <laughs> you need to know these metrics. We, we have free resources on your drivermike.com. There's spreadsheets that track some of this data. You can add columns to the spreadsheet if you want, of course, to, to track some of your own metrics. But I would ask you, what is the average customer tip on food delivery? You know, comment down below. What is your average customer tip? Like, all right, you know, what do you usually get for a tip? And then question number two is, what percentage of your customers leave you a tip? Those are metrics you should at least have a general idea of. So Michael, again, thanks for being here. Thanks for asking. Which one? Is it you're not getting enough tips or you're not getting high enough tips? So mm, either one I think can be solved like this. So lean in for this, drop a like on this video if you appreciate the content we put out. But I get 98 to 99% of my customers leaving me a tip. Now, it could the first thing we think about is what affects that. It, it's your marketplace, possibly, okay. My demographic, for whatever reason, they don't value tipping their service members. I don't know. I don't know. Now, if we go more micro than that, well, are there certain segments of your marketplace that might increase that? So I drove in years ago in San Diego, California. So if I drove in San Diego, well, the average consumer spend in Del Mar and La Jolla, you know, may be higher, might be, might be higher than Pacific Beach, National City, Ocean Beach, and, and other areas. So should I drive there? Maybe. Maybe those customers are spending more, the, the average uh, basket size, as it's called, is more. So their percentage of a tip could be higher. Like if I'm spending 15 bucks on lunch versus $120 on a, you know, whatever it is, a crazy order, that 20% of a tip is gonna be higher. So if you're not getting enough tips and high enough tips, you can look at your demographics. And then number two, look at the apps. So I'd ask you the percentage of tips and the average tip that you get, does it vary on Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats for you in your market? Or is there no difference? Have you not noticed? Like for instance, what I'll see you know, here in Pittsburgh is 98, 99% of customers tipped. Frankly, I saw that in San Diego too. The average tip is around $4. Anywhere in your four, low fours, high $4. Five plus is a, is a bit of a higher tip. So if you're averaging like $2, maybe go to Grubhub. Why Grubhub? Because uh, they may not have the best bonus pay for you. Try to capture some, obviously. But I have seen very high customer tips. Maybe a five, six, seven dollar average on some of my shifts when it comes to tips. So I hope that helps. There's a few strategies, demographics, shifting your demographics, your driving area, and uh, comparing across all apps. Because there's only so much you can do. Last point, we can talk about in-person deliveries, customer handoffs. Obviously, there's good customer service there. You know, eye contact, friendly. One quick question, hey, how's your day going? Stuff like that. Be personable, have the food in a hot, hot and cold bag, showing that you're prepared. Take it out of your vehicle carefully in case you know they're watching and you're not just tossing the stuff around. Little things like that, right? Trying to make a connection if, if they seem like they're you know talking to you a little bit more. A lot of things. So I hope that helps. Yeah.